Hey everybody, it's Mark Gill from Marks on the Grill, and today we're going to talk about perfect salmon, perfect rub on the perfect griddle. Let's get going. First things first, make sure you portion out your fish sizes. Now, people always ask me, how big should I make these? I have no idea. How hungry are you? <laughs> right? So now, once you've got these portioned out, you're going to give them a light coating of olive oil. I like olive oil for this because, simply put, it's got a higher smoke point and it's going to give me a nicer crust. And another nice tip for perfect salmon, make sure you keep it refrigerated, especially the thick ones, till right before it goes on the grill. That way, you develop that nice thick crust and that nice tender inside. So now let's talk about spices and seasoning. A lot of times people aren't quite sure what to put on salmon. So you know what? We took our 25 years of traveling around the world and meeting some of the best chefs on earth and we took care of that for you. Look what we got here for you. This is our Marks on the Grill fish seasoning and rub and I love this check this out this has the citrus in there no more guessing how much lemon we've got the perfect thick sea salt in there and check this out it doesn't matter how you love your fish whether it's pan fried griddle whether you have a barbecued smoke this is the perfect seasoning all the way around in fact check this out this is the real deal when it comes to fish seasoning so now you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna give that a liberal coating on both sides and now it's ready for the grill we're using a good one today. This is our Blackstone Range Top Combo. This does it all. A couple of burners hidden under there and three separate burners out front here, which is cool because with salmon, sometimes you've got thicker pieces and you've got thinner pieces. So instead of that thing where you're trying to guess how long one takes, just turn one burner down and everything cooks at the same time. So let's get these on there. And the other thing I get asked is when do you flip it? Guys, that's a great question, okay? So here's my little hint to you. Come on down here and have a look. See how thick that filet is? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for the thickest part and then you're gonna watch that white line. When that white line creeps up to halfway up that filet, that's when you know it's time to turn it. So let's keep an eye on that and I'll meet you back for the flip. All right, so have a look here. Remember I said we'll look for about halfway? We got about halfway, 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 halfway. These look like they're just about ready. I love it. So let's go ahead now. What I love about fish, oh, you can feel that crust underneath when that spatula slides. It releases easy, but not like, you know, it wasn't there. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's so pretty. Let's do that again. And, oh, man, it's got that little bit of a grab. Check that out. Mm. Hey, have you ever deglazed the pan? Well, this is like all the little burnt bits that are on the bottom of a pan, but you know what? You don't have to deglaze it. It's there already. God, that's going to be good. And see that? That burner on the side that we're able to turn down means that this piece is cooking the exact same speed as all the thick ones. So, guys, so, listen, we're only a couple of minutes away from being done. We will see you at the dinner plate. Our fish is singing my song. God, I love that sound, and it is ready. And how do I know? Because the white from the top and the bottom have joined forces. Now listen, a salmon piece like this cooked properly is no different than your favorite steak. It's full of uh, juices, amino acids, oils, and what's happened is all those juices are now at the center of that piece of fish, and we want them to redistribute. So just like your steak, you want these to rest for at least 10 minutes. So now we're going to get these off. Let them hang out in the cutting board, and wait till you see how juicy salmon can really be. Oh. And that's the secret to perfect, juicy, melt-in-your-mouth salmon. Watch that white line. It's going to tell you exactly when to flip it. And make sure you've got that perfect combination of herbs and spices and salts. Mm. My name's Mark Gill. This has been Marks on the Grill. Try this salmon. You're going to love it. See you next time. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.